the drinking the, the drinking side of it uh, was was always a massive problem. Um, in my early to mid twenties, uh, I started to to see psychiatrists and the psychologists um, to to find out what you know why I what, why I was drinking so much. Um, I'd been hospitalised uh, and and uh, detoxed by the age of twenty seven. Um, and I couldn't stop. Uh, I could maybe stop for a month or two, but I couldn't stop completely. I always went back to it, found it very difficult. Um, my mental health, as well as my physical health, uh, were deteriorating, you know, uh, as, the, as the years went on. By the time I, I, I was in my 40s, I, I was having uh, cirrhosis of the liver uh, and, and, and being hospitalised quite regularly as a result of drinking. I, I think uh, the, the beginning of the really bad stuff was 2017. Um, I actually ended up in, in prison as a result of drinking. Uh, and coming out of that, uh, I suppose that, that was the beginning of the, the big rock bottom of my life. Yeah, you come out of prison and, you, and you've lost everything, basically. You, know, you, you, you don't have a home, you don't have anything. Um, and from 2017, from getting out of prison, uh, to 2021, it was just a continuation of gradually going downhill, both mentally, physically, uh, uh, and socially as well. Uh, I ended up in homeless units. Uh, I ended up homeless quite a few times, uh, living in very bad environments, dangerous environments. Uh, and I got to the point um, to yeah 2021 where I was. I was going to take my own life, um, and I had been drinking, and I, I, I had been taking uh, drugs as well. Uh, I ended up on methadone as a result of the drugs, and then I started to drink as well. Uh, and it just I was just rock bottom, um, and I was thinking I'd take my own life. I didn't think there was any point carrying on. Uh, I didn't believe I could stop. You know, I don't think there was any other way out. Uh, I couldn't stop, and there was there was nothing I could do. So, so that that's that was pretty much the rock bottom of 2021, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, May the fifth, uh, 2021 was, or well, May the fourth, 2021 was the last day I had a drink or a drug, uh, and 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 I was hospitalised. Uh, uh, the police the police had to. Uh, take me from my home and hospitalise me for my own protection. Uh, so, so the 5th of May uh, 2021, which was also my birthday, funnily enough, uh, w w is, the, is day one of my, of my, my new life. Uh, and, and from that day until now, I haven't uh, used drugs or alcohol. And life has improved. <laughs> Well, it was actually uh, a year after I had moved down. <coughs> um, I was I was talking to some people I knew, um, and uh, and they just mentioned that they were going to the bowls club that day, and 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 I said, oh, the bowls. I, I was brought up with bowls. You know, I'd, as soon as they mentioned bowls, I thought about my mother, my auntie, when I, when I was a child, uh, and I just said jokingly, you know, I said, oh, I was brought up. Uh, around the bowls and they said well oh, you should come and have a go then it, it must be in your blood which made me laugh because it's my foster mum not, not, <laughs> not my real family but anyway I, and I kind of said oh no no I don't think so uh, and they said oh but we'll just come along and just have a go then and and I thought well okay then why not you know I, I'll come along you know uh, and I did need something to do you know what I mean I, I wasn't doing much uh, as such and I did need something to fill in my time a bit so I went along with an open mind, um, and and that's pretty much how it how it happened, uh, and that was uh, May last year. So it was about a year, exactly a year from from moving to Seaford. It was strange actually. It was strange because it, it it's such a familiar environment for me because of obviously uh, as a kid I spent so much time around the bowling greens. Uh, so for me it wasn't it wasn't that daunting at first. Uh, I suppose the only daunting thing was. Uh, I suffered a bit from, well, I suffered quite a lot from social anxiety and, and, and things like that, you know, and being in groups of people and, and all that sort of stuff. 
Um, but uh, as soon as I got on the green uh, and, and through the first couple of balls, you know, I, I felt really good. And it wasn't really how I felt. It was because the people who were having the roll up with me, they said straight away, you're a natural. And, and I thought, really? <laughs> They said, well, your delivery is just so smooth. It's as if you, you, you've played before. And I, and I thought, well, I haven't played before. <laughs> but maybe because I, I watched so, much, so, many, so many people bowling when I was young, I just knew instinctively I knew how to throw how to the people I was bowling with. You know, they they seemed quite complimentary. And, 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 and I wasn't used to having anyone <laughs> give me compliments about many things, you know. <laughs> Uh, so, so that really encouraged me, and I liked it. And I liked the fact that you know somebody says, "Oh, you, you're quite good at this." So, so, so that straight away, you know, uh, gave me encouragement, and and and, that, and I pretty much wanted to join straight away. Uh, when they gave me, when I when I joined, officially joined, and 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 I and I received my keys for a for a locker. And the keys to the clubhouse. I mean, it, re it really gave me a sense of achievement. It, it, it may not have meant a lot to some people, you know, but the fact that I had the keys to this clubhouse, do you know what I mean? Someday, with my background, and it just it just made me realise, you know, of, of of how much I actually had changed as a person, you know, that here I here I am with the keys to the clubhouse, you know, and 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 I'm and I'm part of, you know, I'm, I'm part of the, I'm part of a club. Um, and then I, you know, I remember going down to the club for the first time and opening the the, the gates and opening the the clubhouse and going in and getting balls and just stepping on the green, just myself with, with this whole bowling green, beautiful sunny day, and just thinking, you know, th this is the life. This is the life. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, I actually. Um, there was I actually got talking to someone who's kind of in the same position as myself, you know, uh, as far as uh, alcohol and, and, and whatever's concerned, and uh, and I just said to them to come down with me one day and and to have a roll up, um, and, and they joined the club qu uh, quickly after it as well. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would, um, yeah, I would encourage some, I would encourage folk, you know, if, especially for if, if they're stuff uh, struggling with their mental health, uh, especially. You know, going down to a bowls club and playing bowls for a couple of hours, uh, you don't think about anything. Uh, and I've struggled with mental health for a long, long time. And the one thing I noticed very quickly when I was down at the bowls club playing bowls for an hour or two or three, however long I was there, I never thought about anything. And for somebody who suffers with mental health, not to think of anything for a couple of hours is you, you can't buy that. You know what I mean? There, there's there's no there's, there's no prescription for that. That, that. That's an absolute gift. It's a godsend, and it's something I I recognise straight away. Was when I was going down the bowls club, I was coming away, and, and I would think to myself, I haven't thought about anything. You know, I haven't thought about drinking. I haven't thought about drugs. I haven't thought about. Um, or bad things I've done, or you know, I haven't thought about anything. I haven't thought about anything that's depressing, or you know, all I've thought about is what am I going to do with this ball? What am I going to do with this ball? And what am I going to do with this ball? And I, I can't wait to get, I can't wait till this end finishes so that I can, <laughs> I can, I can start with another four. And that's all I would think about. So I mean, that's priceless. If, if anybody's, you know, if I met anybody struggling with mental health, I would. I would I would I would grab them and I would drag them down the bowling green and say I will help you for an hour or two uh, because it's a guarantee it's a guarantee you don't think about anything it's a, it's a gift <laughs> it really is. <laughs>